In many ways, this is the time of maximum danger for the government because they are beginning to ease some of those restrictions. But what we seem to have from the government is an exit from lockdown without a strategy to make it work. And that's why we feel it's incumbent on us as a constructive opposition to say to the government now that we have been calling for some time now for an exit strategy. But it's incredibly important that part, as part of that strategy, we put in place measures to mitigate the risks of coming out of some of these uh, restrictions that we've, we've had. And that's why we're calling on government to do things like to have a, a proper and effective test and trace strategy, uh, to guarantee tests in 24 hours if you have symptoms of the virus and to get those results to people 24 hours uh, after that. Some practical common sense things that the government could be doing to ensure that we come out of the lockdown in a safer way as possible. If we had have had a quarantine system or tests at airport uh, for the virus or temperature checks at the airports uh, back in March, we could have slowed the spread of this virus. We could have uh, stopped people with the virus getting into the country and infecting uh, others. The government didn't have that in place. And so as a result, people returning, for example, from northern Italy, when the, uh, the, the virus was very prevalent there, were not tested, uh, were not um, uh, isolated. And as a result, the virus then spread rapidly through the United Kingdom. So this is something the government should have been doing back in March. Uh, they've come to it much too late. They've come to it at a, st at a stage where other countries are relaxing their conditions at quarantine and we're only just getting going now.